What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. Straight like that. Everybody wanted to know about Mike Tyson and Boosie. Sino, you got to talk about Tyson and Boosie. And I'm like, Tyson and Boosie? What the hell are they talking about? How would them two be in the same room? Like, how did that even come about? <laughs> Tyson and Boosie? Those seem like the very rarest two people to like, run into each other. Mike Tyson and Boosie. But I'm like, I'm intrigued. So, I didn't actually get a chance to see it when everybody else did. Everybody beat me to it because I didn't, you know, I was too busy doing other stuff. And next thing you know, I said, well, let me watch this Tyson and Boosie and see what's going on from the very start. I typed Mike Tyson name in. It pops right up. So I said, oh, Boosie was on his podcast show. I'm like, all right. So I click it and I watch it. And from the very start, <laughs> Mike Tyson is in space. I could tell this dude, he is not on the same planet. Um, I'm wondering, like, where is Mike Tyson? Where could he possibly be? <laughs> Nobody knows. Because he's not on this planet. From the moment it starts. Tyson. So who are you? Like, like who are you? To yourself. Who are you? And I'm like, that's Boosie. <laughs> that's a little Boosie. I know, I know you little Boosie and everything, but, but who are you? Like, as a person, like, who are you? I'm like, Tyson's in space. He smoked out his mind, and he's smoking as he's doing this. So whatever they gave him, he was in the abyss. And he was trying to lure Boosie into the, I mean, Boosie has probably never been in a room with somebody as, just transparent as Mike Tyson was. You know, and Tyson brought up the, you know, Tyson don't care. He's Tyson. What Boosie gonna do to him? But anyway, he Mike Tyson. So Tyson can ask the type of questions the average human being is afraid to ask or won't ask. He had no filter. And ask it about the Dwayne Wade thing. Then it just went left. Do you think you're homosexual? You know, that's probably why you were saying the things you was about, you know, Dwayne Wade, you know, kid. And he was like, no. <laughs> I mean, if it's, it's cool with you all, we all done some dark things. I've done some dark things. <laughs> I said, man, this is going to a whole new stratosphere. And Boosie was like, no, man. <laughs> like, man, hey, man, I ain't never. He's like, it's okay if you are. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I know Boosie sitting there like, is this a real interview? Like, <laughs> what's going on? And Bootsy like, no, nah, man, my mama told me something. Nah, I need to just shut the hell up. You know, you just be talking about this, just shut the hell up. But I'm just, you know, I'm thinking about the kid, man. You know, I'm looking out for him. So, I understood what Bootsy meant in this situation. I understand where the show went. And it was the most revealing situation from Bootsy. And it was and it was a learning situation for a lot of people. A lot of people focused on the wrong things. I, I listened to everything. So the fact that Bootsy came out, he really didn't have anything. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of people shouting him out. But based on the fact of who he was as a person, we actually 
was actually bigger than him selling records. He came out, he put an album out, people didn't even support it, really. And they was all like, hey, free Boosie. He's like, man, y'all ain't even go buy my album. You know what I'm saying? Like, how y'all going to support me? But y'all y'all ain't buying my album. Y'all, oh, we love you, Boosie, but you ain't going to go buy my record? Yeah, some kind of love, right? So, after seeing that, naturally, he's not going to be as, you know, what you saying, happy to see people. Why would he be? Look how y'all did him. So, once he started going on social media and blowing up and doing stuff, talking, and, and then, you know, people that wanted to manage him said, hey, we can make money off this. <laughs> what are you thinking about doing? Because this is where the money is. And ding -ding, now he got clothes. He's got all kind of stuff he, he in the midst of doing. So congratulations to that, brother, man. You know, that's that's doing it big in my opinion. When you doing it like that, that's doing it big. I never I never looked at Mike Tyson as I think Tyson in this show is a good therapy for him. Cause Tyson don't need a podcast show. But it's good therapy for him. It keeps him sane. But I know he's in a conflict with himself because people feel like he's approachable now. And he don't like that. So him going back to boxing and hitting the pads and the mitts, it's more than just keeping him in shape. It's keeping him mentally, you know, where he feels he needs to be. You know, um, poor capacity. You know, it's just like reaching a certain accomplishment in life, you know. When you reach a certain accomplishment, you feel invincible. Like, you feel, I need to have this done, or I need to have that done. You feel a, a serene glow about yourself, you know. And I think Mike Tyson needed this. Uh, Bootsy, in my opinion, Bootsy about as transparent as I've seen anybody. But now he realizes, I got to keep some things in the filter. And if I'm going to get to the bag, and that's what this whole Dwayne Wade thing, you know, showed. And he said, I apologize to Dwayne Wade. You know, that's just how I would feel. I was looking out for the kid. And I understood it because that's how we all feel. You know, we we talk off the cuff. And when, you know, Michelle Obama, she had to learn that when she was dating Barack. You know, she just couldn't say anything anymore. It was going to get turned and twist it into something that she didn't even say or or mean. And she was like, man, and they had to teach her how to address the media and the press because everything's going to be taken, you know, out of context. Political rivals, they're going to come after her to get to him. So... When you have all of these factors in place, you're looking at what could you get or what could you gain out of it? You know, like what is what is the upside here and what is the downside? For me, the upside is through the roof. The downside, yeah, the downside is always going to be what it is, right?
So you want to stay up as much as you can. It's a dirty game out there. It's a dirty game out there. Uh, you know, because I'm thinking about all the dirty stuff that's been happening around here, uh, all the politics and the way they've been trying to sabotage my channel and all this other stuff. All of this comes into play when you don't dance when they want you to dance. Now they want to remove you and replace you with someone else that's dancing. And then that person think he got some on you because they're allowing him to dance <laughs> and it's like dude I was offered to dance said no but you could dance if you want I won't stop you from tapping keep tapping keep dancing because once the music stops you stop and they replace you for somebody else Who's willing to dance but see you don't know how far that dance is gonna take you and where that dance is gonna take you I'm not one that's going down that road to find out my thing is I'm not gonna be one of these little poppy kids with this little goofy music in the background I'm not going to, sorry, it's not me. It's not what I do. It's not my thing. I don't want to partner with any. Do you know they tried to slide that by me? The powers that be. Call it collaboration. Why don't you collaborate? We got some people that, that want to collaborate with you. They've been trying to collaborate. I mean, collaborate. You want to collaborate? Get on the stream, y'all. That's about as much collaboration you finna get. The hell you mean collaborate? Like, we finna be partners on what? I don't know him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just bringing some Joe Blow. Hi! My name is Chris! <laughs> I'll be like, who are you? I know a Chris. <laughs> I don't need to meet any more Chris's. <laughs> we got a friend named Chris. We don't need no more Chris's. We good on the Chris's now. We got new Chris. We got this Chris. We cool. Let's team up. I'll be like, oh, you seen my videos? Yeah, groovy videos, dude. Groovy videos. What videos you do? What do you do? Ha! Huh, I talk about like skateboards and bikes. And yo, I love your hip hop, dude. Dr. Dre all day. I'll be like, yeah. Um, I don't think we're gonna work out. <laughs> Thanks for wanting to collaborate, but I think I got this. Yeah, why don't you go go take a nap? <laughs> Groovy. Well, all right, dude, if you need to find me. So, this talks about what Bootsy was going through. Bootsy was going through the same type of thing. You know, he wants to be him and remain him, but not having to tap dance. But they have to let him know, oh, don't forget, you're not free to do what you want to do. There is cause and effects to everything that you do. And we can affect your everyday walk of life. And to affect the everyday walk of life is it's like they grabbing your balls and squeeze them. <laughs> you know, he couldn't even go to his gym and work out. Like he's gonna lose his membership. Based on the video he said about D Wade's kids, they've been taking away his gym membership. You know, it's like, 
people got to realize, man, playing God when you're not a God, you're only fooling yourself. You're only damaging yourself. Because this is, this is not the way. You know, it's just not. And you keep down this road and keep on the path you're on, it's only going to implode. So, let me go ahead. I got to get into my um, boxing. Just so happens the boxing show is live right now. And, you know, we got the fight coming up this week. Show you how busy I am. I'm a guy who has to wear many hats. Chris Carlson from Robodo Radio. You know, if you know me, I was up 20 hours the other day. Couldn't get my sleep. So I was a little out of it, draggy. I want to thank all you guys for rocking with me, man. For real. You guys have been there loyal. Loyal to the soil, to the Patreon, everything. And yeah, you get to hear about academics and what he calls for the rest of the uh, day. You know, what he did to Chicago. You get to hear that video, a little snippet. We got a whole video on that. That's crazy. Then you got, uh, you know, those who subscribe. If you're new, hit the like button, subscribe to the page, hit that notification bell. You want to support my page? My my, I don't have super chat here. Uh, you can get my cash out, which is Carcino, K A R C E N O. So, thank you again. I mean, from the bottom of my heart. So I'm doing these meetings and fighting to make sure you guys can get your notifications that you subscribe to get. So. We will continuously push. Hopefully, you got this. And on that one, let me get right to the boxing show. Chris has already started. I mean, we know overtraining happens, but wouldn't that be funny if you take overtrained? <laughs> but I really think that first month was probably just shedding the weight. And then the last seven to eight weeks when you ramp up your camp, that's generally what people say 12, um, you know, weeks. That's generally what they mean. I know um, Anthony Joshua was the same. He did these long camps. But I don't think the first month is just balls to the balls. You know what I mean? So I think there's something to be said about that. Um, but we're going to get into a, a variety of news a little bit later in the show. Kel Brook, Eddie Hearn, kind of beefing. We'll talk about a little bit about Loma's so, uh, shoulder. I keep wanting to say, sh- 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 the, I, want, I guess what I'm looking at, kind of like the same word together, but soldier keeps coming out. <laughs> um, shoulder surgery. We'll talk a little bit about that. We'll talk about, like I said, Teddy Allen's scorecard. Um, and a variety of other stuff. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and bring in, I see Carcino in the full. I'm going to go ahead and bring him in and see how he's doing, see what he thinks about these weekends. Like, I'm uh, unmuted. Carcino, what's going on, man? How the hell are you, dude? Um, just busy, <laughs> but I'm here. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yeah, but well, I'm here. I appreciate here. you, uh, you know, finding some time. I know that you said that you had some meetings today and you're a busy guy. So let's jump right into it. Um, you know, we can either talk about the fight's coming up, Gervonta against Santa Cruz, even Ustick testing out heavyweight uh, with Chisora, the return of the monster and all that. But we can talk really quick about that Estrada Quadros fight or, or that Lipidus Clayton competitive fight. Where do you want to 